hey guys you're welcome back to my channel so thank you for stopping by if this is your first time of coming across this channel it's centered around sewing i make sewing tutorial videos and pattern drafting so in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you guys how to make a soup bustier top and these are the materials i'll be working with my wording piece my ankara piece and my lining piece as well i have my other sewing equipment like my ruler my curve drew i have my scissors my marker and of course my pattern paper or my brown paper so if this sounds like something you're interested in learning how to make or how to sew please do consider subscribing and continue watching because you'll never regret watching this video so right here now i have my pattern paper all spread out and the next thing i'm just going to do is to draft a simple basic bodies and starting from that top part of my paper that is where my shoulder line is going to start from so i'll start by marking three quarter of an inch which will serve as my shoulder line and i'll make dots all across after making all these dots i'm just going to use my straight ruler and connect all these dots into a straight line So after connecting all of these using my stretch ruler, the next thing I'll go ahead to do is to divide my shoulder measurement of 14 inches into 2 and I'll have 7 inches. So the next thing I'll go ahead to do is to also add half of an inch which will, join as, which will, which will serve as a joining allowance here. So I'll go ahead first and mark my shoulder divided into 2 and I went ahead to mark 7.5 at that point. So I'll take note of that point there. So the next thing I'll go ahead now to do is to mark my neck width. So I have my neck width. I always go with 3 inches for the neck width. And for the neck depth here, I'm just going to go with 3 inches because I'm not actually going to make use of this neck width and the neck depth. Because I'll be creating a new neck depth later on all together. So I'm just doing this for the purpose of this tutorial. So after this now, the next thing which I'm going to go ahead to do is to input all my vertical measurements here. So I'll start by placing my tape under my shoulder line and I'm going to mark 10 inches which is my bust point from my shoulder to my nipple that's 10 inches my bust point I'll go ahead to mark my under bust that's from my shoulder to my under bust which is 13 I'll go ahead as well to also mark my half length or my waistline which is 15 inches my my top length of 18 inches and I'm go ahead to add extra one inch for hemming allowance so all together here what I have is 19, 19 inches so from that point where I marked my shoulder I'm going to mark my armhole of 8 inches first and I'll go ahead and mark my bust point of 10 inches my under bust of 13 inches my half length of 15 inches my top length of 18 inches and 1 inch for my hemming allowance so after doing all of this I'll go ahead and use my ruler and connect all these dots into a straight line just as I'm doing right here with my ruler So after connecting all these lines, my armhole depth of 8 inches, I'll just extend that line a bit. And after extending that line, I'm just going to connect it to the top part, which is my shoulder line. I'll just connect it to that point which I made there earlier on. I hope you understand. So now, this is my armhole line which I drew. Here is going to be my chest line. And here will be my bust point. My under bust, I have my waistline. And I have my my top length which is tl and the one inch which is for my hemming allowance i hope it's not confusing here so i'll come to that my armhole line i'm going to take the measurements and what i have there is eight inches so i'll be dividing this into two and i have four inches and i'll make a point there and from that point i'll come in by half of an inch you can see what i did i also made a point there so i'll go ahead now and divide my bust circumference of 38 inches into four and whatever i have which is nine and a half inches i'm going to mark it exactly on that line label cl which is my chest line so this is it and after labeling this i'm just going to connect from my shoulder line to that half of an inch which i came in by on my armhole line and also connect it to the other points where i divided my both second phrase into four by so just watch what i'm doing closely you will definitely understand what i am doing
So after this, now the next thing you are going to mark here is to divide your nipple to nipple measurements. And mine is three and a half inch because mine is seven inches. That's the distance from one nipple to the other. So mine is seven inches. You divide into three. Sorry, you divide into two and i have three and a half inches so i went ahead to mark it on all of these lines here and after marking it i'll use my stretch ruler and connect all these lines dotted lines together so you can see what i have here so after this now i'll come to my underboard now and sorry i'll come to my bust point first i'm going to mark come down by half of an inch from my bust point first so after coming down by half of an inch i'll come to my under bust and at both sides i'm going to come out by one inch at both sides so i hope you can see what i did here so that's i'll also come out by one inch at both sides on my waistline and also on my top length and allow and all the way down in fact so i'll just use my ruler and connect this all the way to my full top length so you can see what i did here so with my curve rule now i'm just going to connect from that part where i came down by half of an inch from my bust point into my under bust using my curve drill and you have to place your curve drill like this and you're going to curve this and connect this way but if you're conversant with using your free hand you are free to do it so long as you actually get this um curvy line okay so under my chest line now i'm also going to come out by two sorry one inch at both sides you can see i made a point there i made a point the other side okay so also come out by one inch at both sides starting from that center line which is our that line so you're just going to connect it again into our boss points okay just like this i'll connect like this into my boss points that's the part where we came down by half of an inch from our boss points actually so this is how i'm going to connect this so you can see it's actually having a better and nice look and shape so measuring it you see that we have two inches all together here okay so <coughs> The truth of the whole matter is, at this point, I almost forgot I was drafting a bustier. I almost went into drafting for a corset, so that was the reason for marking this. But trust me, this isn't really the appropriate time to do that, okay? So the next thing I did here is to determine how deep I want my neckline to be. That's your neck depth. So I went ahead to mark 6 inches because that's what I usually use most of the time once I'm drafting an up shoulder so i went ahead to max six inches and that would be my neck depth and the actual place where i'm supposed to be taking that measurement which i did earlier on so i went ahead to cancel that out because it's not necessary please it's not unless you want your neck depth to start exactly from your chest line you can maintain it but me no it will be too down and to be showing so much cleavage and so much boobs at this point so i didn't want that so i went ahead to come down by six inches and that would be my neck depth so i went ahead to extend this my that line to that my to that line where my neck dead stopped and i'm going to come out at both sides by one inch one inch so meaning that at this point the other line is no longer needed because i'm going to reconnect this into the half of an inch where i came down by from my boss point i hope you understand so this is now the new line here and we're just going to forget about these other lines which are marking and crossing x so they are no longer needed these are the official lines which we are going to use in the drafting and the cutting of these two bustier top so i'll go ahead and give this a bit small sweetheart neckline so you can decide to come down by one inch or two inches depending on how deep you want your um, sweetheart neckline to be i don't want mine too deep just like the one on the thumbnail so i just came down by one inch and you can see how i gave it that sweetheart neckline shape from that part so make it curvy and not pointy okay so you can go ahead as well to blend this well using your free hand just like i did so now here it is we are almost done with the drafting of this two bustier and the next thing now i'll go ahead to do is to start 
inputting all our body measurements into these already drafted bodies so if you remember we have this two inches that intake here and of course it needs to be replaced so i'm going to replace this and from that my armhole area i'm going to replace this that's the two inches that intake which we had and we have a new armhole right here so we now have a new armhole curve right here so you can see it and this is just basically it so by the time we cut off that two inches of uh, that intake we are um, we are going to have a shortage of um fabric but that's the reason for adding back the two inches so at this point i, I i'm pointing at that that point which i made i made there which is my bus circumference divided into four so i went ahead to add one and a half inches there and i just made a point at that area so the next thing i'm going to do now is to come to my waistline i'm going to divide my waist into four and i have eight and quarter inch and i went ahead to mark it there so i'll go ahead to mark the same eight and quarter all the way to my top length because mine is actually going to be the top is going to be small not really big so that's why but if yours is going to be down you measure that area that's the circumference of the area where your top lane will be stopping okay so this is it i went ahead to connect so the next thing i'll do now is to take our that measurements which is um on our waistline the that intake that we had so we are going to take the measurements in between and of course we have two inches at this point so i'll go ahead now to replace it exactly on my waist area and i'm just going to mark the same thing on my top length and connect this just this way So you can see what i did here we are done inserting all our body measurements so the next thing i'll do now is to go ahead and insert the general um sewing allowance of one and a half inches here So after making all those doors, just use your ruler and connect all these lines together into a straight line. It's as simple as this. So we are done drafting for the front bodies of this our tube door. So the next thing I'll go ahead now to do is to take my underboss measurement of 31 inches and I divided it into four because I'm trying to tighten my underboss at this point So I divided it into four. I made a point there because that's where it is. That's eight inches And I'm going to measure the distance between that point. I have and the um, that line like the remaining um, Inch I have there. I just took the measurement and I I had one inch measurement so I'm just going to impute these at the both sides of this my already created that so i came out by half of an inch at both sides because the space i have in between the points i made and the line as my underboss is one inch so i went ahead to share this into half half inch at both sides of my underboss like this please pardon me if my explanation is not really too clear but just watch what i'm doing you definitely understand what i am saying okay so connect like this back into the bus point please you shouldn't exceed it so you won't be short of fabric okay so this is called tightening trust me it's not going to affect your dress in any way so just connect back into the bus point area that's the part where we came down by half of an inch from the bus point just connect like this and that is just how to tighten your under bust and we are just going to extend um that's into our that leg just like this so it's as simple as this go ahead and do this to so tighten your underbust and you're going to have a perfect fitting 
please watch closely what i'm doing my explanation may not be really accurate or top notch but trust me watch very well do exactly what i did follow this procedure and you're going to achieve the same results with what i achieved so all these parts i marked as are going to be totally cut off and i'll go ahead now to cut out the sides of my dress so after cutting out the sides i went ahead to cut out my neck depth area of six inches so you can see i remove all those unwanted parts first the armhole i'm cutting for the armhole i went ahead to cut out for my sweetheart neckline area so the next i'm cutting out now is my dart here so just carefully and intelligently just do this and um you are going to achieve a very very nice and beautiful posture tip top so just keep watching and don't skip any part of this video so this is what it looks like after cutting out you can see how fine and perfect it's looking so during this sewing you see the actual beauty of this so i went ahead now to cut out for the back part of my dress so i just threw this straight line because this pattern paper wasn't um really straight so it would be a guide for me so i went ahead from that straight line to mark half of an inch and this half of an inch is going to be my zipper or my zip allowance okay so i went ahead to mark half of an inch all the way from the upper part to the down part of this um paper and i'll go ahead and connect all these dots into a straight line using my ruler so you can see i'll just go ahead now and label that part my zip allowance so you take note of that and do know that any measurement i'm taking i'm taking from here now is going to be from that second line yeah that line there so not from the inside or from the first line okay so i went ahead to mark my neck opening in fact i went ahead to draft the basic bodies which i drafted already for the front um part of my um dress but the only difference here is that i added zipper allowance so it's the same procedure the same process the same everything the only difference is just the zipper area trust me on this so this is just what i did and i went ahead to connect connect just the same procedure and process is what i'm repeating here So the next thing i went ahead to do is to also take my um nipple to nipple measurement of three and a half inches i marked it on all of these lines and i went ahead to connect into a straight line so um i'm just going to come out by come down by half of an inch on my bust point sorry by one inch on my bust point and at both sides of my waistline i'm going to come out by half of an inch so you can see what half of an inch looks like if you don't know so i'm just going to connect just the way you see my hand go with my ruler you're just going to connect i connected into my um one inch i came down from from my boss point area so you connect so having done this now the next thing i'm going to do is to also take my neck depth for the back because i don't want it to be straight and remember for the front it was actually six inches okay so i really want it to be equal and all of that i don't want it to be down more than the front part so i went ahead to mark the six inches which is for my neck depth so from that six inches i want also want the back to be curved a bit so i went ahead now to use my french curve on my curve whichever one to curve this so it will give me that curvy nice shape at the back of my dress so when i'm done you're going to see what it looks like at the back so i went ahead now to include all my stitching allowance at this point and please don't forget to replace your dart intake you can see what i am doing right there my waist divided into four um you go ahead and take your dart intake measurements and replace it always do ensure that you replace your dart intake because if you don't 
you are going to run short of fabric and it's going to be so tight on you by the time you are done stitching and taking in all your stitching allowance i hope you understand what i mean right so this is me joining all these dotted lines of my circumference body measurements divided into four i went ahead to measure my dad's intake of one inch and i've gone ahead now to replace it at this point so i'm just going to connect like this so you can see how i'm connecting so this is also the way you should connect yours as well So this is it so go ahead and also add your stitching allowance all around so i added 1.5 inch stitching allowance so after this i'll use my ruler and just connect all these dotted lines into a straight line so this is um basically all for these back bodies and um I'm going to cut out all of these areas and so at the zip area we're going to come up from that our top length by six inches and if you're always used to watching my tutorials you understand what is for right yes I know you do so just connect like this lightly and you cut out every other thing here so watch closely so you see the way i cut out all of these points but um i'm not going to cut out my darts because i'm going to be um, making a notch under my that area while cutting on my fabric so here is for my um neck for my back the armhole and i went ahead to cut out that zipper area and this is it for the back bodies of our bustier you can see how nice it's looking <laughs> by the time we, i'm done seeing this you're gonna see how fine it is trust me so the next thing i'll be teaching you now is how to pad your bustier so i have this very light wording i'm working with um we have thick wording we have light wording and their price is varies okay so i went ahead to fold this and i brought my front center piece and I went ahead to label these. Just get the front center piece and also the sides. I went ahead to label it. Fold your wording into two. Place, um, bring your front center piece. And that underboss area, you can see that is it's aligned properly. That's the underboss area. Go ahead and fold it in just like this. Go ahead and fold this in so you can find it a bit easier to draft so quick and fast go ahead after folding it in you go ahead and pin this down so i'm used to not pinning this down i don't know but please if you're not used to this if you're not conversant to this please make sure you pin this down so you don't make a mistake while cutting this out okay so after pinning it down go ahead and cut out this exact same way i'm cutting mine out okay so you can see what i'm doing here I didn't add any stitching or sewing allowance all around i cut exactly the way it is on my pattern paper so go ahead and cut exactly and this is what i have so you can see it fits perfectly so you go ahead to do the same thing for the side of our front um, bodies you're going to fold your um, wording into two get your front bodies on the underboss area fold it in just like this the same way i did for the front and um i'm just going to fold this in to avoid cutting it off mistakenly place it on your wording please make sure you pin this down make a make a mark there at the top make a mark um at the top there and you come to um your bust point you can see where the bust point is you're just going to um uh, you're just going to uh, mark four inches there so you turn your paper to the wrong side you you mark that four inches there because you're going to be filling it from the inside of your tape so at the bottom part you make your points there as well so trace out the remaining front part which you have and uh trace it all the way just the sides alone like this part now i'm tracing is the part you should trace as well 
so after tracing it remove your pattern paper and from the top part you're going to connect into that four inches we marked earlier on and also to the down part of this our um our side front so this is all um this is just basically it for the front for the oh god this is just it for the padding of our bust tear so we'll just go ahead and cut this out open this up and you can see how nice it's already looking so this for the center and this for the side looking all nice and good so you can see it yourself here so this is basically it and the next thing i'll go ahead to do now is cut on my fabric and i'm going to add half of an inch sewing allowance all the way around this point where my hand is going and um we are going to cut on fold don't forget and for the back as well i'm going to add um half inch stitching allowance so this is me cutting it out and you can see that i'm not cutting exactly on my um, pattern paper i left half of an inch so go ahead and mark off an inch all around those areas which i showed you earlier and pin it down first if you are not used to cutting without pinning please pin yours down first before you go ahead to do any of that okay so that is all and go ahead and cut out and this for my back area I went ahead as well to cut out for my zip area as well and after cutting this I went ahead to nudge my dad's area so it will be easy for me to take it in so you can see all the um, allowance which I added to this the half inch allowance I didn't cut exactly on this my piece okay so the next thing I'll go ahead now to do is to iron my wording on this my fabrics so I'm going to turn this to the um wrong side and you know this wording or uh, usually has a shiny part so that shiny part you are going to place right side at the wrong side of your fabric okay so you're going to place that shiny part on the wrong side of your fabric like this and you're going to move away by half of an inch please away from the part you have you are um going to iron your wording so just watch closely how i'm um half inch is going to be I'm going to um I'm going to keep this um half inch away from the beginning of the fabric. I hope you understand. So this is what I mean. So you can see that it's moved away a bit from the um edge of my fabric. So this is how you should do. Go ahead and sprinkle water and iron this out. So this is what I went ahead to do and um this is it and we've come to the end of this tutorial so thank you for watching the second part of this tutorial will be the joining and the assembling of this particular dress and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've come this far watching me thank you so much to all my subscribers you are the mvps like thank you so much and if you're here to subscribe and you've come to this point watching me please i urge you to subscribe to my channel and do have a blessed day ahead of you. I'll do have a good time. See you next time on this same channel. I, Exquisite Styles by ST, continues loving you all the time. Bye.